Okay, good morning, everybody. I know some people will be straggling in uh, throughout the next half hour, I'm sure. It's it's a bit early, but um, uh, we're excited to have you here for Fisky. Uh, our closing um, plenary is um, also serving as the Force 11 open plenary. So um, you'll see some crossover today. I, I, I see lots of Fisky instructors and attendees in the room, but a lot of new faces that are here for the Force 11 conference. And so uh, I wanna say welcome to all of you. Uh, my name is Marty Brennan. I'm uh, the scholarly communication education librarian here at UCLA. And uh, uh, we're happy to partner with uh, Force 11 in the production of Fisky. This is the sixth time that we've done it um, uh, co in connection with UCLA, uh, eighth time overall. Um, and we're really pleased we had a great uh, virtual week last week with about 190 people um uh, participating in 15 courses and this week it was a little softer in terms of enrollment but we had a great intimate group of people um about 40 people taking courses and um um and uh going out to dinner and um having uh great conversations in the hallways and stuff i think it was a great week and uh i hope everybody had a good time so um thank you for joining our community um, I, I want to give the land grant acknowledgement that we do here at UCLA, the UCLA Library and Fisky organizers acknowledge the Gabrielino and Tongva peoples as the traditional land caretakers of the Los Angeles Basin, Southern Channel Islands. As a land grant institution, UCLA pays our respects to the ancestors, elders, and our relative relations, past, present, and emerging. I want to bring everybody's attention to the Code of Conduct. Um, it, there's the website there, uh, link to the details of the Code of Conduct. We wanna provide a harassment-free experience for everyone, regardless of gender, gender identity and expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, ethnicity, religion or lack thereof, technology choices or other group status. Um, so, uh, we mean this in a, in a positive way, not to be policing what, what people do, but more to encourage you to treat each other with respect and welcome everybody's voices into the conversation. So our calendar of events this week, we had the virtual week, uh, July 22nd through the 26th. It was um, a smash, everything went well. Uh, Fisky campus in person was amazing, everything went well. And here we are at, at the Force 11 conference. Uh, a, a bit about communications. Um, uh, I'm sorry, this this slide was not updated. <laughs> it's the 23 slide and we are not on Slack. Um, so let's just ignore that altogether. You want to use the hashtag in any kind of social media uh, stuff that you're on. You want to use the hashtag uh, uh, Fisky2024. But, you you know, in, in 20 minutes, it's all going to be over. So... The Force 2024 is also a good hashtag, yes. So, um, and we hope that you take the Fisky Experience Survey. We have lots of questions this time um, about uh, what you liked about uh, these years, this year's experiences. And um, uh, I just need to still do a little tweaking on the evaluation form. Um, the worst way to do evaluation forms is at the very last minute. And that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so, uh, I will be sending out a link to all Fisky participants um, by the end of the week, for sure. So again, we had 15 virtual courses and 10 in-person courses this year. We want to thank all of our instructors who did such a great job. I don't have a slide with all the virtual instructors, but this is everybody that came to campus to teach um, uh, this week. If I'm forgetting anybody, raise your hand. Um, you know, this list was uh, modified a little bit, so there might be some missing. Anybody? Am I missing anybody? No. But thank you all for coming. You all uh, put, yes, yes, very much. They'll put in great effort to uh, put in a course proposal and submit it back in February, January or February, and we got it reviewed. Uh, by the end of March. So it's been a whole year process of getting these courses together and teaching them. We had some great community events this week. We had an instructor dinner on Monday night that turned into a, a dinner for all comers. 
Uh, we had Fireside Cats, uh, a conversation in this room on Tuesday talking about what brings you to Fisky and what the future of Fisky looks like. And um, we had a great reception last night um, that uh, went uh, pretty well, I think. Uh, the plenaries were really fantastic. Uh, and I'll give you more details on those in a second, but I do want to thank all of the Fisky scholarship recipients. I don't think many of them are in the room right now, but um, I see uh, Ricardo, uh, anybody that's a scholarship recipient, can you please stand? Okay. Okay, there's more than I thought. Um, by bringing in the scholarship recipients, we, we did have participants from all six continents um, at Fisky, and it's it's great to have that that balance in in the room uh, at Fisky events. So many people to thank in in putting on Fisky. There's the steering committee, and most of these people are here on campus. Uh, uh, Kathleen's not here, and Anna's not here, but Dan and Cameron and Stephanie and Ron and I um, we have conversations about where we want to see Fisky go, and and some of the bigger decisions about what we're going to do happen in the steering committee. Um, so I'm grateful for everybody's works and, and contributions there. The program committee is where most of Fisky's work is done. It's, it's a four month process of selecting our curriculum. Um, I co-chaired this year with Kathleen uh, Jagodnik, but she gets all the credit. Uh, she ran a review process that was amazing. And um, uh, we chose all the courses and um, uh, a lot of the plenaries were put together by the program committee as well. But the rest of the team did a great job um, and in terms of reviewing everything and get everything going. There's the archive committee headed, headed by Anna. And um, this is a great group that has worked together well for years. Um, hopefully they hang together for another year or two and uh, they'll be approaching all you Fisky instructors to get uh, um, your course materials and make them publicly available uh, as soon as we can after Fisky is done. Communications committee, this was a bit of a ragtag group this year and communications was maybe not as good as it could have been, but we did get the word out and, and let people know about the events. Um, it was myself, Danny Kingsley, Elizabeth Shook and Kathleen Jagodnik. And we have a couple of support staff, Margaret King and Lucia Vexler who were pretty vital in, in, in uh, uh, getting people into registration and other details, so. We had great plenaries this week. Uh, in the virtual week, we had a virtual keynote by Ivan Aransky and Marvin Rittman. Um, Ivan is from Retraction Watch, and Marvin uh, or Martin is from uh, Crossref, which acquired Retraction Watch uh, in the last year. Uh, they had a nice conversation about the history of Retraction Watch and and what Crossref intends to do with the data. Um, going forward. So I really recommended it. I've gotten several compliments on it this week. And uh, Dan O'Donnell gave a great uh, uh, opening keynote on Monday about academic freedom. Um, really good stuff. Uh, both of those plenaries are uh, were recorded and are available. You can find them on the Whova site. You should all have access to it. If you have any issues getting to it, I can get you connected. And coming up next, we have the Fisky closing keynote. It's not, well, it's not as much a keynote as it is a discussion, isn't that right? So um, we'll be talking to Danny Kingsley and Leslie McIntosh in uh, just a few moments. So you have the thanks of all of us, of Force 11, of the UCLA Library and the Fisky community. Um, all of these people that have uh, been volunteers, have taught, have uh, led plenaries, um, Fisky wouldn't happen without all, all your contributions. So the survey is coming. Um, I urge you all to volunteer for Force 11 and for Fisky. This is a form here um, on the Force 11 site that you can fill out and tell us what areas you want to get involved in. You saw all of the planning committees that I thanked. Um, there's always room on all of those committees for people to join. And we like to get, you know, give people a break and cycle off so new people can cycle on and, and do the work. I hope you consider it because uh, it's fun groups. It's, it's really nice to work in the Fisky world um, and uh, connect with everybody there. 
So what's next? We're going to do an assessment of Fiskey 2024. Um, we have lots of discussions about the future of Fiskey and what's next. Uh, UCLA Library doesn't have any commitments to Fiskey after this year. Uh, that doesn't mean we're walking away, but it could. Um, we, ha we have to look at the numbers and decide what we want to do next. I've had some really great conversations with some people. Um, Jonathan Grunert, who has um, headed home already at University of Buffalo, is going to submit a proposal at his um, institution to partner with Force 11 in a future Fisky. Um, and one of the scholarship recipients who's not here yet um, from India is going to uh, propose to her uh, administrators to perhaps put on an event in India. Um, maybe that'll be more regional, but you know, I think any of us could go if we wanted. Um, maybe we could teach courses there. Uh, I will put it out to everybody else too. If you think your institution would be a good partner with Force 11 to produce a, a Fisky event um, or um, host Fisky virtual going forward too, um, it's, it's never a bad time to put things in. UCLA Library has been connected now for six years and it's, it's starting to feel a little, you know, a little long, <laughs> um, at least for me, I've been doing it for six years. So I, you know, would welcome ideas that brought us, bring us to what's the next step. Um, and then of course, after those discussions are over, they were going to have the traditional, uh, volunteer drive and hope to get people on planning committees. So I've been waiting for this. This is uh, one of my favorite parts of the day. We have some Fisky awards to give out. Um, so um, the first one is the Stephanie Hagstrom Extraordinary Con Contributions Award. Um, this is for unique contributions made to Fisky 2024 um, for this year's conference. And uh, the person it's going to is an instructor that's been involved with Fisky um, uh, I don't know from the very beginning, but for quite a while. And the course that he teaches is the most popular course for the last five or six years and um, getting the most uh, students every year. And uh, he also has taught a second course this year. He's handed off uh, the, the original class to uh, his collaborators. So um, we're excited to give this to Clark Iacovacus from um, Oklahoma State. Clark, you want to come up? Clark's also done uh, a lot of volunteer work in our committees and stuff. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. If you want to say some words. Well, I, <laughs> sure. Uh, I, it's been an absolute joy being involved with this community and it's so nice to come back together again. And I've learned so much this week. And um, yeah, I really want to thank all the support of everyone involved with organizing it. It's uh, you all make it really easy to be an instructor and a joy. So yeah, thanks. Thanks, Clark. And you'll be uh, contacted. We'll make a plaque um, for that award and for this next award. Oh, it, it, well, we do have this. We can give you a, a, a printed out, um, you know, there it is. Uh, so you can put that in a frame and uh, or wait for the plaque. That'll take a month or two. Um, and then there's the Fisky Leadership Award, and this is for overall contributions to Fisky. Who are the um, re people that have received this? I've received this, Cameron, Dan, uh, Stephanie. Um, it, it's really for people who uh, contribute to the overall Fisky effort. And let me tell you, the, the first year I was at uh, Fiskey 2017 at UCSD, and uh, I told this story earlier, but it's a new crowd in here. Uh, this person had a, uh, a, um, an icebreaker in her course where um, she asked people to get in a circle. And you get in a circle, and, and there's somebody in front of me here and somebody behind me here. Now get closer together, get closer together. And so the, the circle just gets tighter and tighter. And so you're right up against somebody else. And she, now she's like, now stick out your butt and put it on the knees of the person behind you. You'll see that we all stand up together and we're all like a group together. And I just said, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like backed away and I stood against the wall with a couple of other people. It's like, no, no, no. No, you know, and this was before Me Too or anything like that. But 
Um, it was a fantastic class and she has taught fantastic classes in Fisky this whole time. She's been an active member of, of the archive committee in other ways and communications and, and um, uh, active in Force 11 in so many ways. Um, she's a great member of this community. I can't imagine Fisky without her. So the award this year goes to Dr. Danny Kingsley. I'd just like to say that that exercise is about trust. <laughs> and the point is with it that you, and I, to be fair, I usually do it with, with uh, used to do it with sport and rec kids, you know, at, at camp. It was a, a, a outdoor camp activity. Camp? Oh my God, that's yeah. even more scandalous. Well, I've been there eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that you that as a group you, you you're actually not holding any weight that, that that when if you ever do this exercise you are you kind of suspend it it's weird and it just but one person breaks out and everything falls apart oh. so thank you very much <laughs> thank you Danny uh so again a plaque is coming so and so that's it we conclude year eight and uh um so how how about a round of applause for the end of this meeting? And now we move to this nebulous between the two things.